had there. Nothing to plunder.
Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be Nothing had there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to plunder. Nothing there, nothing to be had there, nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Oh. 
you to pieces. Yes! Run as fast as you can! What's the matter? What's the matter? Just look at that mess under the bridge over there. I haven't seen anything like it in my entire life. Those swine should be exterminated, I tell you. What happened? I was traveling with my helpers when those horrible brutes came jumping on my cart out of the blue and butchered everybody. I'm lucky that I still know how to dish out a decent right hook, or they would have killed me too. Who were those people? The bandits. Who else? They took over the bridge up there. They rob everybody who tries to pass the bridge. I knew they were lurking up there, so I passed under the bridge instead. But my cart and my goods must have been too tempting for them. Those scumbags simply jumped from the bridge directly onto my cart. Uh, I should have tried to steal past in the night. That stuff there under the bridge is yours? The cart, the goods, everything. But none of it is really any value to me. The only thing that's irreplaceable are the three stone tablets they stole from me. Stone tablets? The water mage in town wants to buy them from me, and I promised he'd get them. I must have them back at any cost, or my reputation will be tarnished. What would a water mage want with them? He said he was going to study them, and asked me to bring him more. Where did you get those stone tablets? I found them near old buildings, such as mausoleums, or sometimes in caves. I've already sold a whole bunch of them to the water mages in town. They're pretty rare down here, though. I found most of them northeast of Corinus. Why don't you simply go looking for new ones? Uh, during that melee with the bandits, I sprained my ankle. I can still hobble along, but I don't want to walk very far on this foot. About those stone tablets, I've got some. Thank you. That's enough. Now I could keep my promise to the water mage in town and then go home at last. I'll pay you for them, of course. I'm going home now. Come with me if you like. Maybe I can sell you a few things that might interest you when we get there.
Are you mad? Get out of here. It's too dangerous in these vaults for a would-be adventurer. But say, don't I know you? Of course, you bastard. Don't think that I could have forgotten how you betrayed us in the new camp. You drained our mound of ore of all magic power, and then simply disappeared. What exactly did you think you were doing? I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, and you think that settles it? Do you have the slightest idea what you have done? You have confused the structure of magic so much that it could be heard back in Corinus. Count yourself lucky that the barrier simply collapsed one day. What are you complaining about? It all worked out all right. Mind your tongue! What the blazes do you want here anyway? I belong to the Ring of Water now. As I see, you bear our secret sign, the Aquamarine Ring, and I see in your eyes that you speak the truth. Very well. I shall accept your entrance into our ranks. But bear in mind that this comes with a great responsibility, and I hope for your sake that you'll do it justice. Since there's no way of stopping you from keeping the other mages from doing their work, you might as well take a message from me to one of them. Tell Riordian that I wish to see him here. He's in the rear part of the vault. You will find him there. Hey! What are you doing? I'm studying the culture of the ancient people. Based on the inscriptions, they lived long before our time. I don't know exactly when they erected these halls, but their civilization was highly developed. They built a city on the other side of the mountains, and a temple for Adonos. A lost city on the island of Corinus? Yes. Until now, we lived in the belief that we knew the whole island. We assumed that the entire northeast of the island was one enormous mountain range. But we were wrong. Behind these mountains lies a valley. The city of the ancient people was located there. I would only too gladly see the buildings of the city, 
but they have probably fallen to dust long ago. Hey! Saturas wants to see you. Has he gotten further with his investigation? Then I will go to him immediately. If you want to learn more about this complex, talk to Nefarious. You'll find him farther back in these vaults. Wait a minute. How old do you think this place is? Well, I still can't say exactly but it must be several hundred years old. Vatras gave me this amulet of the searching will of the wisp. Ah, a rare artifact. You could use it to train the will of the wisp. Do you know that? Can you help me with that? Gladly. I've worked with the sword of magic for a long time. Show me how to train my will of the wisp. What should your will of the wisp search for? Found out anything new? It has been confirmed. The ancient culture did indeed believe in Adonos. What with? See that I can't help him. I knew that would be a problem. Busy? These vaults are one big mystery for me. It's hard to imagine that no one else found them before now. We were able to uncover the entrance without difficulty. People are so occupied with their daily routine that no one looked more closely at this structure. I have no other explanation for it. What is your task here? I'm trying to find out where this round portal leads. Besides that, I help Nefarious look for the missing ornament. It is certain that this portal leads to another part of the island that we do not yet know. I can't remember ever having heard or read about that. You really want to go through the portal? Of course. Assuming we find that missing ornament, that is. I admit, it is a somewhat risky business. But we must absolutely find out what it has to do with these constant earthquakes. What do you know about the earthquakes? Something on the other side is causing them. The source is probably also causing the stone sentinels to awaken. But that isn't my job. Saturus and Kronos can tell you more about that. What do you think you will find over there? I'm really not sure. I suspect that on the other side there will be a structure similar to this one, and a counterpart to this portal. Everything else we shall see when we get there. Can you teach me anything about magic? Once we're over there, I'll be at your disposal. Hey, you! Everything all right? It's very brave of you to just walk in here. What are you doing here? I'm studying the language of the builders. 
The language is the key to understanding the ancient people. Each one of us must learn it, or this expedition will be over before it even begins. The builders use stone tablets to pass on their knowledge. Unfortunately, many of them are broken or were stolen long ago. What's on these stone tablets, then? They contain the collected knowledge of the ancient people. Some of them increase knowledge of combat and magic by magical means. For someone who can read the tablets, they are a real treasure. Can you teach me to read the language? Well, why not? I'll gladly pass on my knowledge to you. Teach me that language. We'll start with something easy. To begin with, I can teach you the language of the peasants. As a rule, texts written in the language of the peasants deal with worldly matters such as work, love, or obtaining food. It was the common language of the city. You will be able to understand most of the text found here if you know it. Hey! May I bother you for a moment? It's you. I never thought I'd see your face again. It's very brave of you to show up here. There was a time we would have skinned you alive. You can be glad that was a few weeks ago, and we've all calmed down. What are you doing here? My task is to find out more about the Guardians of the Temple. That is a tough nut, let me tell you. These stone sentinels have a characteristic that is utterly foreign to me. One moment they're standing around completely lifeless, and the next they're attacking you like they're possessed. I still haven't been able to determine their driving power, but one thing is sure, it is of magical origin. Tell me more about these stone sentinels. I can't tell you much so far. Unfortunately, we have had to destroy them. Now, they aren't dangerous. When we came here, they attacked us. We could only defeat them with our combined power. And I'm afraid there are even more waiting for us behind the portal. There must be a way to banish their driving force so that they remain nothing more than statues. Can you sell me some equipment? Why not? If I remember correctly, we've already done business. Tell me what you need.
Nothing there. Nothing there. Hey, you! Can you sell me some equipment? Tell me what you need. Hey! Hey! Can you teach me anything about magic? So that you can once again interfere with the magical structure? No, I have no time for such games. Found out anything new? Not really. Come back again later. Nothing there.
Hey, you! How's it going? What are you doing here? This is certainly a surprise. I thought you had been killed. Almost. There was quite a fuss about you, you know that? I hardly recognize Satyras. He was so beside himself about that business back then. What sort of portal is that? We suspect that it leads to the Lost Valley, where the ancient culture must have had their city. But the stone behind the portal is made of massive rock, yards thick. Also, there are no signs of teleportation magic. Very mysterious. Do you know how to activate it? One of the missing ornaments seems to be a sort of magical key. We'll need it to get any further. It has to fit exactly into the ring-shaped hollow next to the portal. Hey! Hey, you! Wait a minute. Hey, you! Found it. Not really. What do you think? Do you want to go up against me again? I think I've got...
Hey. Wait a minute. Hey, you. Hey. I brought your ornament. What in all the world is that supposed to mean? Come off it now. I brought it to you. You do want it, don't you? Certainly. But it disturbs me that you have your hand in the game once again. Why are you making such a big deal about that old business with the ore mound? After all, I already worked for you back then. And you can't say that I was unreliable. Uh, and what did it ultimately get me? Hmm. Just don't think that I trust you. What are you doing down here? These halls conceal ancient secrets. Mysterious secrets. The inscriptions and murals indicate a very ancient culture. Everything you can see here is written in a language completely unknown to us. We are only just beginning to learn it and grasp its meaning. Why is this ornament so important to you? It is the key to a portal. I shall not tell you more. What sort of strange earthquakes are those? That is one of the puzzles I am trying to solve. The structure of magic is being disturbed somewhere behind these mountains. Quite obviously, someone is trying with all of his might to break a powerful magic. I fear it will not be long before the entire island is plagued by these tremors. Hey, you! I brought a part of the ornament. Really? That's terrific! Do you have any idea where the other parts are? According to the ancient inscriptions, it was broken into four pieces. And it looks as though the parts are still to be found on the island. With Merdarian's help, I have translated some of the inscriptions. There are hints as to where the remaining pieces are. Here, I've marked some of the places on this map. Look around there. You should pay attention to old structures. They might be somewhat deteriorated and no longer clearly recognizable. It could be almost anything. A large rock, a stone circle, a mausoleum, or something similar. But what am I saying? <laughs> You'll find it. Well, good luck. Why was the ornament broken? Whoever did it wanted to prevent the portal from ever being opened again. The longer I stare at the inscriptions, the more I realize that the priests of the ancient culture really were no fools. There was a good reason that they made the region back there inaccessible. We don't know what awaits us there, but it certainly isn't anything good.